Okay. Yes. Oh, so it all comes out, the song and the video at the same time. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not one of those artists that likes to drop just audios. If I can, I just like to give you the whole it. experience, the whole thing got it. at once. Any, any sort of, uh, because this, this is definitely going to come up in the music video too, because not in the music video, but the interview too. I, I had some questions about specifically that because you do seem to come at every single music video with a completely different, you know, conceptualized vision of what you want it to be in terms of like vibe era fashion aesthetics. Um, can you give us a mm. taste or an idea as to like what you're going for in the new music video too? Uh, and you know, not just on the, the musical side. Well, there's definitely fashion well, aesthetics. I've got a good golden Chanel mm -hmm. glove in it. Um, so, <laughs> um, also, it's the video is literally sizzling, mm. like literally sizzling. Like the song is hot, hot, and the video is sizzling. And I just feel like there's some good choreo in there. Like everybody loves when I dance. So I've really made it a point to give that the video dance moments and it's sizzling. That's all I'm going to okay. say. All right. Um, th th there's, there's just so much that, um, I, you know, I, w I wanted to ask you about that in terms of just, uh, you know, the sets that you go for, the choreography you go for. I mean, it, it all very much feels like it's, you know, in line with that era of diva pop from the 2000s. But you know what, the thing about that era was that there were a lot of aesthetics and vibes to it that felt almost like futuristic, especially in a lot of like Britney Spears videos. But, um, you know, but that was still like kind of the present at the time. What a lot of artists like you are doing, in my opinion, is like you're actually bringing us that future that that time had promised, you know, and, and not just you, you know, there's a lot of artists you know, who... Um, and obviously you're doing it in your own way, but, uh, you know, others that come to mind are like arena who you've collaborated with, or like a Charlie XCX mm -hmm. that you've collaborated with. I mean, you know, do you consider yourself artistically to be a futurist or when, you know, you're creating what you create, do you sort of see yourself referencing back more than you're thinking forward in a way? I think I'm, I'm definitely a futurist. I'm a futuristic girl in every single way. And I feel like I tend not to study artists and like directly rip from them or whatever, because I kind of find inspiration from everywhere. Like I find inspiration from how buildings are constructed to, I don't know, like a neighbor taking out uh, their bins and they were wearing green and all of a sudden I want green hair. Like I kind of find it everywhere. So yeah, definitely futuristic, but obviously where I've, sat with MTV so much growing up, like naturally all of that greatness and all of that epic, iconic, can I uh, swear? Yeah, yeah, go for it. That epic, iconic shit is just, it just lives in me. It just lives in me. So I, I'm all the stuff I soaked up when I was a child, it all lives in me. So all that Britney, everything, it just uh, lives. You know, as, as far mm. as that MTV diet, like, and it, I mean, growing up, I was fortunate enough to sort of just consume it nonstop through like the nineties, but also the two thousands too. Mm -hmm. Were you watching like a lot of TRL or like a lot of MTV two or like, you know, where, you know, at what block, like what hour block or programs were you getting the bulk of these music videos? I, cause obviously I'm from London. I was watching, um, MTV mm, okay. base and mm -hmm. this, Kiss, but mostly MTV based because I feel like MTV based, based did like the good rounds of like Sean okay. Paul, Missy, Britney, Pharrell, Kelly's. Like it did the healthy mix of everything. So it was just lit. Like it was a party every single day. I'd just be on the channel. I'd just be like, my mouth open, like, oh, this mm -hmm. is lit. What, what, are, what are some of those early music videos and visuals? I mean, obviously Missy, but um, you know, what are some of those uh, ones that stick out? most boldly in your mind being younger that had kind of just the biggest impact on you in terms of just like choreo star power aura charisma you know artistic aesthetics that sort of thing i would say britney spears slave mm -hmm. for you um lil kim no matter what people mm -hmm. say um anything from Queen, like I used to love Queen music videos. That was when I used to be on like the rock channels and stuff mm. at night. Then I'd watch like, Queen music videos. Like Freddie Mercury living on my own, that music video to me is like, once I reach a certain level, I wanna have a music video like that. 
So yeah, those are probably the ones that I saw growing up that was like, oh. Thank you very much for watching this interview clip over on TND Streams. To see the full interview, click on the video link next to my head or down below, or hit up the link to subscribe to the channel or see our Patreon page to support what we do and get some extra bonus monthly content in the process. Uh, Anthony Fantano, forever.